Westdorf here with Clyde Coat, and we're at a uh, 2005 Edgewater uh, with a dark blue hull. And um, this boat is severely oxidized, as you can see, and it's a very common problem with colored hulls here in South Florida. Uh, when we first arrived to the boat, we could notice that uh, there's a lot of salt on the surface, so we have to do a acid wash with on-off. We wipe that on and it helps flush the salt out of the surface, out of the pores of the surface. And then we come back with our nano wash and wash the hull down and then dry it just to make sure we're removing all of that on off. Um, once we get done with that, we're gonna start doing our buffing here. We start with a Makita and a wool pad. Uh, because this boat is heavily oxidized, we know we're gonna have to do a lot of buffing steps to it. So we're gonna use our heavy cut compound and buff the surface probably twice. Um, removing all of the severe oxidization, all this hazing and the watermark still on the surface. Then after that, we are gonna move to our roofs buffer with a maroon pad here. This is a somewhat firm foam pad and we're gonna go to our Glide Coat Nano Compound. We're gonna go across the boat again one more time and what this step does is remove some of the swirl marks and start to restore some of the shine back into the surface. And then once we're done that, we switch the pad out to a lighter uh, orange pad here, and we're gonna use our Glide Coat Nano Polish. This is the final step to really smooth the surface out, remove any remaining swirl marks or imperfections, get this shine up as good as we can before we apply the ceramic coating. And then we do our surface wipe, and then two coats of the Glide Coat Nano Ceramic Coating. And that, as you can tell, is a lot of steps, but we've got a boat here severely oxidized, um, and we need to bring it back to as good as we can before locking it in with our ceramic coating. But at the end of the day, we're gonna get it better than we finished. All right, so we're here with the 2005 Edgewater, and now we've finished the Glide Coat ceramic application. Um, we began the, the boat, we had gloss meter readings as low as three, um, 14, kind of all very low because the boat was severely oxidized. After doing all of our prep steps and applying the two coats of ceramic coating, we've now got the gloss meter reading as high as 90, which is better than factory new gel coat. And the average across the entire boat is about 83 to 84.